Hi everyone, it's Steve here from Imperial Light and Magic. And what I'm going to show for you today is how you can go from this, which is using a generic um, receiver instead of the genuine Microsoft gaming receiver into your USB host shield, um, which as you can see at the moment is not connected. And I'm going to show you how you can make it connect. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take the receiver itself and plug it directly into our laptop. Now I'm using a Windows PC for this, uh, so your mileage may vary if you're using a Mac. What you want to do then is fire up Device Manager. Um, as you can see, I've got Device Manager running here. And this device, if you go under Other Devices, will appear as an unknown device. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the unknown device. We're going to right click and go to Properties. Then in properties, we're going to go up to details. And then we're going to change this drop down to hardware IDs. Now, what that will do is it will give us some numbers. So what you want to do is either take a screenshot of this or just make a note of the numbers that appear after PID underscore. So in my case, this is 0 to a 9. Now, uh, if you plug a genuine Microsoft one into here, uh, I think it says 0719 just for reference. But anyway, so 0 to a 9 we're going to take a note of that the next thing we're going to do is navigate our way to our arduino folder now typically this is found within the root of your documents folder so i'm just going to open this up and then you are going to go to libraries once you've got libraries you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom most likely until you find usb hoshiel now you can see i've actually got two copies of this on my machine as i was trying to figure out where the issue lay. Um, and I am going to just uh, change the bottom one of these two, which is uh, this one over here, which is uh, USB host underscore shield underscore library underscore 2.0. So let's open that up. And then within here, again, if you scroll towards the bottom, you're going to find two files that we're going to edit. One of them is called USB, uh, sorry, Xbox USB dot H. And the other one is USB. Uh, is xboxrecv.h. So as this one's highlighted, I'm just going to hit return on my screen, which opens up Notepad. Um, if that doesn't open in Notepad, you can right click on it and say open in Notepad. Uh, I've just associated my .h files with Notepad to make life a little bit easier and quicker. Now, if, I, if you scroll down to uh, this line here that hopefully you can see my cursor on, you'll see that it says uh, def hash define xbox underscore wireless underscore receiver underscore third party PID. Now, it then gives a value and you can see the value is 291. So if we just quickly go back to my unknown device and we go back to properties. So it's 291 currently. So if I go to hardware, hardware IDs, you can see mine is 2A9. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over back to our notepad document and where it says 291, we're going to change that to 2A9. Now make sure obviously you're using the correct uh, case, so it's uh, capitals. So I'm going to close and save this. So close and save. Now I'm going to go and do exactly the same thing in Xbox Rec V. And again, in Xbox Rec V, if you scroll down, you will find a third party PID, which is just there. And you can see it also says 291. So we're going to change that to 2A9 as well. Uh, close and save. And what we're going to do now is jump back to our Arduino. So what we're going to do now is uh, unplug our uh, receiver. And we're going to plug that back into our host shield. I'll try and do that one-handed. There we go. And we're going to plug our um, Arduino Uno in this case and everything back into our PC. So we're going to now return to our sketch. Um, so this is one of my ever so slightly amended versions of uh, the Uno sketch. Uh, and I'm going to hit upload. And that's compiling, uploading. And done. So just for completeness sake, I'm going to unplug that now. So as you can see, my transmitter is still spinning away. Now I'm going to plug it back in so it gets power. And lo and behold, without touching anything, he says, boom. 
we now have a connection and control. So you can tell that that's working now by pushing the start button, but it stops on segment one. Um, so if you are planning on doing this, there's a couple of things just to be aware of, especially if you uh, say are Windows and you have OneDrive, um, because it's very uh, easy for your uh, machine or yourself to get confused as to where files reside. So the way that Arduino, the sketch um, works, the IDE works, is um, the brackets around the library name de uh, define where it's actually picking that up from on your machine. So it's very easy to accidentally change it on uh, your OneDrive folder, thinking that you're changing the actual, uh, you know, the, the one on your machine and it's not. So do make sure that if you've got documents, folders um, in effectively different places, especially if you've brought stuff over from an old machine or anything like that, and you've got multiple copies, it's very easy to accidentally change the wrong sort of thing. Uh, and it for uh, that will then not necessarily work. So just bear that in mind, uh, make sure that you have changed that uh, wherever it needs changing. But as you can see, we've now got a generic um, USB receiver, nice and cheaply sort of bought, working absolutely fine with our Xbox transmitter. Anyway, hope that's useful. Take care, stay safe, speak to you all soon. Bye for now.